What is up, everybody? Colin here for another Shut Up, No One Cares, Get Back to Work podcast, bite-sized show, 10 minutes or less, about big ideas that are going to stand the test of time. I'm here to make you a better human. Hopefully, you will then become that better human, lead by example, monkey see, monkey do, other humans will follow, etc. Today's big idea is the Warren Buffett top five method for setting and achieving your goals. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this because it's a very simple idea, and I don't want to obfuscate it with rambling on and on. It's very simple. It goes like this. Take your top 25 goals or aspirations or things you're working on and then take the top five of that list and put it at the top. Circle that top five. Go to the 20. Circle the 20. Then if you'd like, you can maybe move these this list around so that you take the top 20, put it down a little bit more and put the top five front and center. What you're going to write as either an arrow connecting to the top five or above it or however you want to do it, focus only here or only this, or work only on this, whatever you want to signify that that is the only area you're going to spend your time and effort on. Now, here's the important part. And this came from Buffett giving advice to his pilot for 10 years, asking him uh, for some advice goals, all the things he wanted to do, etc. And you can read more about that in the link below, but it basically went like this. Buffett basically asked him, what's this list of 20? And the pilot said something to the effect of, well, these are things that I want to do. They're, you know, they're important. They're close second to my top five. So I'm going to kind of work on them here and there. Buffett said, no, 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 no. You have it all wrong. The 20 list is your do not do at all costs list. It's basically your do not do list, which is, I think, a very powerful productivity strategy because we can put things there and then we can remove it from our mind and we have simplicity about whether we should even spend time on it or not. And it's really, really, really hard to implement this. So basically what you have is you have five things that your primary focus, no matter what, and until you knock one of those out from your top five list, nothing from that 20 do not do list is going to go and take that place. So when you finish something, you take the next big thing, move it in place, and then again, you have your top five. The only way to get something done in life and to live a deep, meaningful life is to have focus. When you are pulled thin and you try to do too many things and you spread your energy and your focus over all the millions of things that we can do on a daily basis, you're going to have a shallower, more stressed out, less fulfilling life as a result. This concept very much mirrors the 80-20 where it's 80% of your results come from 20% of your effort. So if you have 25 things you want to do, focus on the top five. In a funny way, you're probably going to end up either being able to cross out some of that other 20 list or those things are going to come naturally or whatever, you'll stumble upon them. You need to focus on the top five, the, the few that matter, and then say no to the things that don't. So if you want to take action today, this is very simple. You take this idea, take a piece of paper or a spreadsheet or whatever, and you do this. And then you have it every morning in your morning routine, your morning review, whatever it is. Maybe you send an email to yourself, a Google Calendar reminder. You look at this list and you look at that do not do list and you make sure that nothing in your day is going to be a part of that do not do list. This will take practice. It's a skill. You'll get better at it. Some days you'll be worse or better. Stick with it. Constantly realign your focus. Constantly remind yourself about things that matter. And that's where you need to invest your time and energy. That's a big idea for today. Let's get to the daily quote and the daily six, and then I'll let you go. All right, daily quote. This quote, I'm going to be using a lot. I just love it so much. I used it the other day. I think I need to make a shirt out of this, actually. Let me copy this and make a, make a shirt out of this. Make a shirt. The successful warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. Bruce Lee. The successful warrior is the average man or woman with laser-like focus by Bruce Lee. So good. Daily tip or recommendation. Habits are routines. Routines are habits. The more your habits become part of your routine, the less you think about them. You just do them. And this is the time and productivity management nirvana. When the things that are making you better, those habits that you want to develop, become part of your daily routine so you don't even think about them, you're on the fast track to success, ladies and gentlemen, when that's the case. Daily book recommendation. Awareness by Anthony D'Amelio. I think his name is Anthony D'Amelio. I've read half of it. It's good. I need to pick it back up. I need to finish it. It's something Tim Ferriss recommends a lot. Very good book. Daily health tip. Simplify your routine. So just like the 80-20 and the, you know, the 25 top five list, it's all this concept of focusing on the things that really matter and then saying no to everything else. It's the same thing with your routine, your health. You don't need complex routines or diet plans or meal plans or exercise plans. And I mean, if you can use those, if it simplifies it for you, then use them, right? But, but you have to use it. You have to stick to it. Here are my tips for making your health simplified. 
no matter what you're doing, these are some of these first principles that if you just do this, it'll be simple. All right. So when it comes to exercise, all you need is a few exercises, a few times a week, and maybe a sport or getting outside or some kind of other modality for your metabolic conditioning. And that's it. Just do that every week. Simple. Food. If you cook your food at home from raw, real ingredients, so stuff that's not in a package that's shelf stable for years on end, you will take care of 95% of your long-term health uh, as far as nutrition goes. Just eat real food. Just prep and cook your meals. That's it. Now that we're under quarantine, this should be simple. So take the time, learn some recipes, learn some routines, buy a sharp knife, cast iron pan, get some get grass-fed ghee or, and or avocado oil. And this is actually my cooking tip for the day, some fire cooking. And then get in the kitchen. All you really need is twice, twice a day. You can use intermittent fasting, eat two meals a day, three maybe if you're female, depending. I mean, I've still seen females that can do two a day. And then great. It's awesome. Simple. Do it every single day. Nature. Get outside. Take a daily walk. There. There's your nature card right there. Movement. Take a daily walk. Get outside. <laughs> sleep. Get a sound machine. Then get in bed nine hours before you have to go to sleep. If you spend that first hour reading fiction or whatever in low light with an orange bulb, ideally, that's it. You do that every single night, your sleep's taken care of. Relationship. Schedule rituals around your relationships. Family dinner, date night, game night, uh, potluck where friends come over and you play board games or have chats or whatever. Masterminds. Humans need relationships. We need other people. And we are not really good at making that a priority unless we have solid schedules, unless it's on the calendar. So use your calendar to your advantage. Build this into a routine, into a habit, and your relationships and your mental sanity and happiness will soar. Work. Find work you care about. And then just focus on that. Like this is, this is an entire human life in our modern society. I've had to live a good life. Focus on the things that matter. And then the daily thoughts about money. Simplify your money. Have one card, one bank account, one savings account, one investment account, and then one hidden account where you put money into and you don't really think about or pay attention to it. I highly recommend that. That's a great money tip where you could look and a couple years later, you have thousands of dollars in that account and you totally forgot about it. That's going to be it for today's show. I'm Colin Stucker, The Wall CEO. Thanks for watching and or listening. And subscribe so you get all the updates. And I'll see you in the next one.